case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1991, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case, Lytton Financial Printing Division versus National Labor Relations Board. The case focused on whether arbitration could still resolve disputes under a union contract's arbitration clause, even after the contract expires. Charges were brought against Lytton, a check printing company, by the National Labor Relations Board, Board, for violating the National Labor Relations Act, NLRA. The company was accused of not following proper arbitration and grievance procedures when laying off employees after a collective bargaining agreement expired. Lytton argued that the grievances were subject to arbitration, but the board disagreed. The core issue at stake was whether the layoff grievances fell under the expired agreement. Justice Kennedy penned the majority Supreme Court opinion, which determined that the dispute over the layoffs occurred after the agreement expired and therefore could not be classified as arising under the expired agreement. Lytton had laid off 10 employees without notifying the union, appearing to be testing the authority of the union during a period of uncertainty over its status. The court eventually ruled that layoff grievances did not arise under the collective bargaining agreement and were therefore not subject to arbitration. The court clarified that an expired agreement was not enforceable, and the Nolda brothers' presumption only applied to specific contract disputes. Ultimately, the court concluded that layoff grievances were not arbitrable, and the company was not bound to arbitrate such issues. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.